So I just realized something. My boat's sitting on the bottom. I've grounded my boat before I even started my journey. <laughs> All right, I'm floating. Here's the moment of truth. Oh, I'm excited. Check it out. I can move the boat now. Yay. Oh, look. There's a dolphin. Watch. He's playing in the water right now. I can see him. Yeah, buddy. Thanks for seeing me off, man. Alright, I've got this packed. That's all my tools and generator and stuff. There's the port boat This is all so packed. This is my outboard and some tools in the front and then the crane. And then my solar's hooked up, but my tape never came in, so I just kind of duct taped everything together. It'll be fine for a couple days until I can get more tape. Extra diesel, extra gas, extra pro propane. This propane's full and on. Shore power's disconnected. I need to put the jack lines up, take the sail bag off. That's it. What else needs to be done? Sail. Oh man, I gotta run all these lines. All right, I gotta do some work. Let's go see what Mark thinks about the hard top. <clears throat> Can you come look at this? No. I got it all measured up right. Why do you have a camera? Because I'm filming you. <laughs> what? You're not filming! Get me off of there! Come on. <laughs> no, no, you do not just give me the sign of release. I don't, not, I don't want to be a part of this. I thought I bought your boat. That was your release. Let's see what his reaction is. You were going to impute all your f ups to me. But. So I, so I measured it all out, and I think it's at the right angle. What do you think from back here? Do you think it's at the Why right angle? Why are you angle? talking different? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm not talking different. Um, yeah, it looks good. Looks real good. Is it the right angle compared to the, t to the pop top, though? I think so. Yeah, it looks exactly the same. Okay. I love it. Loves it. You got those, uh, what do you call it, it's under the uh, flotation cushions under there now? What's that? The flotation cushions are up under the... Well, no, I just put those red pillows. It's all right. That doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Yet. Once I get the stanchions made, it'll make it perfect. Because they'll both be mirror images of each other, right? I was thinking with those, then we could put the um, straps, the roof straps on, and that would cinch it down you know to be a really tight so that will preserve those angles exactly right understand what i'm saying yeah it'll be a, like a clamp from the front you'll still need support in the back oh well, we get them. That's, that's the way to do it.
So it's finally mounted. This is the first time I'm going to see it with the top down. I'm really excited. So this is what it looks like. Uh, let's see if it's got the same angle. I can't really tell from right here. Oh man, that is awesome. Spot on. I mean, almost perfect. Oh yeah. So I had these made from this. This was my, I think I showed you this before, but just a piece of bent PVC with some PVC blocks that's glued to with epoxy or whatever the hell that is. It's actually like three different things. I'm gonna tell you, this is probably one of the most important things I've done on the boat so far. It could really save my life. So it says don't disconnect the solar panels under load, but just to be safe, I'm going to connect them under load because the sun's out. So I'm going to put a blanket over them to make sure that they're not, they're not going to shock me or destroy the other panel. That was, that was the last big task for, uh, for the boat. I'm, I'm done. I just got to clean it up. Yeah. So we're off. I got the rudders kicked up. See that? It's kind of back a little bit. This one this one's almost fully in. But that's just in case I ground the boat because uh, it's really shallow right now. I just barely, barely uh, floated off of the bottom and just took off. So hopefully <laughs> it'll work. Well, I hit bottom already. <laughs> you can see how that one's kicked all the way out. And that one's not. We hit on that side. And uh, it almost stopped the engines. The prop was under the sand or under the mud. <laughs> but it seems fine. There's no water coming in. So, whatever. It just bogged the engine down. Those are diesels. Those, they'll take anything. Hopefully, it didn't mess anything up. I don't think it did. It's, it's pretty muddy. It didn't stop the engine either. And I wasn't going very fast. I was doing like one knot, maybe two. All right, I made it out of the channel. It's nice and windy out here. I can't raise the sails up yet, but man, it's gonna be beautiful. So you and me are destined to be free Like stars on high We'll shine, oh, we'll shine the Wind is ripping, it's gonna be an awesome sail, yeah. So I already had my first crisis. <laughs> We're like five hours into the sail and I'm already sinking the boat. So check this out. This is the door for the starboard engine room. Look at that. There's water all over the floor because the water was above the boards. When I look down in here, look at that. 
Like there's a ton in here. And everywhere. So what happened was when I grounded it, um, I, I hit the bottom coming out of the marina and this thing came way unscrewed. I don't know what happened like it. It must have hit against it and just unscrewed it so it was just pissing water. The right way to do it is to, every time you use the engines, Jesus I'm hot, every time you use the engines to uh, go down there and open it up and let it drip a little bit because it needs the drip to uh, lubricate the shaft or else it'll score the shaft. But um, yeah, I should have checked that. I'll never do that again. Wow, that was a lot of water. The bilge pump was on for like five minutes. <laughs> All right, this is the halfway point. I, f I figured I'd make a video. Uh, the reason I'm red is because the, re the lights are red and it's for night vision. So the wind is awesome tonight. It's, it's like supposed to be 25 knots by in a couple hours. Um, the boat's handling really well. I mean, the autopilot hardly has to do anything once I trim the sails right. Uh, it's, the motion of this boat is awesome. I'll never go back to a monohull. Catamarans are awesome. So the bad parts, I almost sank the boat. I, putting the reef, it was just a big debacle. It took me a half an hour to put a reef in the main. Also, I hit my head really bad, like right here, man. Oh, it hurts. I, got, I definitely have a knot. I can kind of see it in this light. That sucks. But I'm rocking. So, cool. Later. <laughs>Nice to meet you, I'm James. I figured this is a good spot for me to introduce myself and to say thank you, thank you, thank you for watching my video. And let you know that I am in Miami right now, in Miami Bay. It is beautiful, I've been spearfishing every day and diving every day. And oh, it's just, I, this is a really good idea, coming up to Miami. Um, I, the reason I'm up here is my autopilot went out and my computer broke. And the only Apple store in Southern Florida is in Miami, so I just decided to sail up here and it's been amazing and my crew flies in in three days uh, so you guys will get to meet him on the next video and we're beating feet down to Cuba as fast as we can we're gonna be there for New Year's Eve we're gonna do some spear fishing and free diving in one of the world's only naturally growing reefs so I'm hugely excited um, th this should be a really cool channel especially if you like spear fishing and underwater vids and stuff um, and the, the boat's doing great. I'm super happy. Uh, this has been a, a really, really cool journey so far, and it's just starting. So welcome, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you can, and uh, look forward to seeing more of you. Also, if you'd like to see more of the, any of the refit process, I'm gonna put videos up on every step, full videos on just on YouTube. Uh, to maybe help you out if you're thinking about buying a sailboat, if you're thinking about doing some refit action on your own sailboat, if you're interested in uh, pursuing cruising, uh, maybe, th maybe this will help some, somebody out. And if you have specific questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Email my Delorum through my website or, uh, well, I think that's about it. <laughs> oh, you can leave a comment on the video and I'll see that too. You know, just give me a little while to get back to you, okay? I, I only really go to an internet cafe like once every two weeks. I'm using my boat and spearfishing in the morning and, and you know doing boat work and it's fun. It's good. This is really a good life. Wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's I don't know if you can hear that or not, but the, the boat's like I, boom, boom, boom. It's like smashing into waves. I'm soaking wet. Wherever love goes, there is also tragedy. When we're Did it again. The rudder's broken. Took my first shower in like three days. Oh. But it feels so good. I'm back at Memorial Reef. Emerald Reef. I'd like to welcome the 
newest member of the crew of Zingaro, Porky the Hogfish. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Porky. Here he is. He's a little juicy. He's kind of a one-hit wonder. Dinner's, dinner's about all he can do. But, you know, he's good at that, so.